I know why you sat us next to each other. You want to see who can eat more quickly. Ferdinand, please stop making everything a competition against me. Ferdinand, I hope you'll take this opportunity to speak freely to me. <laughs> I do not require your permission to speak my mind. Ferdinand, you can say what you like about me some other time. For now, let's just enjoy a nice meal. You do not understand. It is my solemn duty as a noble to explain why you are wrong. All I look for in a meal is a full stomach. You seem to be after something more than that, Lady Edelgard. True. I feel that sharing a table with people you're close to is a precious opportunity that should never be taken for granted. Hmm. When the three of us sit together like this at the table... Let me guess, we look as though we're plotting something wicked. You realize you're mostly to blame for that. Do you miss the food of your homeland, Petra? I wish there was a way to get some for you. I have gratitude for your kindness. But it is okay. I am liking the food of Fodlin. Food of the palace is extravagant, but food of the battlefield is very plain. Are you finding it difficult to be adjusting? <laughs> no, it is not so bad. In all honesty, I have had to eat much worse food in the past. Remember this, Professor. That look on Dedu's face means he thinks the food is pretty tasty. I never thought I would be able to enjoy a meal with my friends again. No one is to blame. But yes, we should eat together more often. Is something wrong? You're eating like you hate the food. Oh? That was not my intention, but I apologize if I hurt your feelings. Now I remember. You used to like meat. You can have mine if you want, Felix. No thanks, I don't want it. You eat it. Don't want you fainting from hunger. You used to whine unless you could do everything with me. Time for you to shut up and eat now. Got it? Enjoy the meal. This is quite delicious. So you say, but you do not seem to be eating. Are you feeling all right, Gilbert? Your Highness, did I fail to teach you proper table manners? What? Oh, thank you. I will be more careful. I developed a bad habit these past five years. You know what, Professor? His Highness here is the most stubborn guy I know. Now, Sylvain, why not go ahead and eat? If you do not, I may help myself to it. By the way, how delicious are the monastery meals, right? We sure don't eat like this back in the kingdom. I agree. If we could only grow more food on our poor soil and in the severe winter of the north. If you wanted to invite someone else to dine with us, Professor, I would have preferred you choose a lady. Eh, I don't mind a straight-laced noble joining us. I'm happy just to share a meal with Teach. Whenever I eat with you, Lawrence, I always feel like I have to mind my manners. It's awful. 
Good. You should mind your manners even when I am not watching. You are a noble after all. If someday our positions change, we will not have many opportunities to eat together like this. True. That would make this moment a priceless memory. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Let's just eat already. Okay, I am full. Want some, Professor? Don't fall for it, Teach. Hilda's gifts always come with a price. She'll be asking you to do this or that for her in return. Mark my words. This meager meal isn't enough to fill me up. I'd really prefer a daily lavish feast. Feasts are special because they're kind of rare. If you had a feast every day, you'd start to be sick of them. Thanks to you two, I get to sit down and enjoy this tasty meal. A meal you can eat while listening to Hilda praise you is a gift all its own. Right, Teach? Food tastes best when you are sharing it with others. Do you not think so, Dorothea? Yes. Present company excluded, of course. The food here is simple, but well prepared. A meal can be delicious without being fancy. Come again? I've never heard a nobleman say anything like that. Sharing a meal with your allies makes you forget the differences and where you're all from. So you finally approve of me. Let us toast to that. Why are we seated beside each other? I cannot enjoy my food with you sitting here. Just shut up and eat. Can we put our quarrel on hold, Ferdinand? At least while the professor is present. Of course we can, Hubert. We will finish eating and then continue fighting elsewhere. I know you prefer tea. I'll prepare some, if you like. No, I will have coffee. It has been a while. You sit here while I pour us each a cup. Pristine manners are essential, even if the quality of the food is poor. Wouldn't you agree, Ferdinand? Indeed. We may not care for the meal, but we must show our respect for the person who cooked it. To share a table with you is a comfort in these difficult times. I feel precisely the same, Lawrence. Such cheerful moments give me the will to keep going. Um, I find it difficult to eat when you stare. My apologies. You and the professor are both so fascinating, I simply cannot help myself. Marianne, are you going to finish eating that? May I have it? For research? Please don't say such bizarre things in front of the professor. Caspar, your stomach will burst if you eat all of that. <laughs> don't worry about me. I've got a stomach of steel. Professor knows what I'm talking about. I gotta say, Ash, you can really put your food away. I've got to keep up my strength, don't I? Yeah, it's eating time! Come on, let's dig in. Caspar, do develop table manners. Begin by chewing with your mouth closed, especially when I'm around.
You never know if each meal together might be our last. I try to treasure these moments. I get what you're saying, but you shouldn't be so grim. Let's survive so we can keep eating together. There's no one I'd rather eat with than the Professor and Alois. Here, here. Hmm. This old chair keeps creaking. I fear it's on its last legs. Ha! Look at how fancy the professor is. Dining with two stars of the stage. You must be flattered, no? We can't sing and dance our way through the meal, but do you like the opera, professor? Having a meal like this reminds me of the old days, eating alongside the rest of the opera company. Ah, <sighs> so true. I really miss those days. Oh, sorry, Professor. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. It's weirdly soothing watching you just shovel it right in there. What's with the appetite today? None of your business. I can't help it, okay? Everyone gets hungry after exercise. Professor, keep an eye on Ingrid. She'll swipe all the good bits for herself. I would do no such thing. Sure, I like eating, but not to the point of thievery. After the fighting's done, we should all go on a gourmet's journey around the world. What say you? That sounds like fun. What do you think, Professor? Up for a culinary adventure? Today's dish was so good. Oh, but not as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. It's, uh, really tasty. Yeah. Please, help yourself. Sitting around a nice meal and eating with friends is the best. I know you're excited, but you'll choke on your food if you don't take time to chew. I am pleased to dine with such suitable companions. Is there such a thing as an unsuitable dinner companion? Nothing like a tasty meal after some grueling work. Lawrence, you've hardly eaten anything. There is no need to rush. I prefer to take my time. Always happy to join the professor for a meal. Oh, and I'm glad you're here too, Lawrence. The pleasure is entirely mine, Hilda. Could I at least persuade you to eat with utensils? Eyes on your own plate. Don't you know it's disrespectful to waste food? Hey, you're cleaning your plate. Nice job. Oh, please stop. You sound like my mother. There's more food than I can eat. Uh, Professor, Raphael, you're welcome to have some of mine. Don't listen to him, Professor. Ignatz gets all dizzy if he doesn't eat enough. Excuse me, but I gotta go grab me some seconds. Seconds? We only just started eating. How did you magic away your firsts? Lysithia, do you like this kind of food? How is the seasoning? Is it hot enough? Hey, the professor is right here. Can you please stop paying me so much attention? Thanks. Professor, I apologize for the uncomfortable atmosphere between us. Hold on. 
I'm afraid I am to blame. I apologize for making it awkward for the two of you. What a company we are. A master of Christology, one who aspires, and one who helps people. Obviously, I'm the one who aspires. So that means the professor is the one helping others? Huh. It's delicious. I know, so tasty. It would be nice if you spoke up once in a while, though. Food tastes better when I get to share it with you. I feel the same. Let's fill up so that we feel good and energized. Ah, meals always taste best when it is a company of three or more at the table. Do you not enjoy eating when it's just the two of us? You wound me, Flame. Having a meal together like this makes me feel like you are part of our family, Professor. You truly are as good as kin. Let us enjoy this brief respite together. This is lovely. I welcome an opportunity for us three to get together and enjoy one another's company. I wouldn't normally want you around for dinner, Hanneman. But it's kinda nice once in a while. My apologies in advance for our boisterous dining companion, Professor. Professor, please allow me to apologize for the unprofessional behavior of my colleague. <sighs> I love meal times. No nagging or self-important jabbering coming out of that loud mouth. And whose mouth would that be, Manuela? Or are you speaking only for yourself? Having a meal together with Shamir. I'm happy and more than a bit nervous. <laughs> it's rude to ignore the professor like that. Your table manners are the one truly adult aspect about you, Cyril. Just one, huh? I hope I can get more aspects real soon. It's too rare that we get a chance to kick back and stuff our faces. Come on, Shamir, time to gorge! I apologize for my partner, Professor. Eating with the two of you makes me feel at home. At home, hmm? <laughs> That's a nice feeling. I see your food preferences are the same as they ever were. You haven't changed at all, either. Food always tastes so much better when you're in good company. I could just eat and eat. That's right. You used to get in trouble for that. For eating your food so quickly. Will you talk to her for me? She's been avoiding me nonstop. Of course I avoid him. I avoid everyone! going out if I get to eat with you two. Here, Yuri, try some of this. Yes, yes, adorable Bernadetta. Lopping the food you dislike onto my plate. <laughs> Watching you eat is always entertaining. Just look at you go. <laughs> it takes a lot of fuel to keep the insatiable king of grappling at the top of his game. Damn, 
It's been too long since I've finagled a meal like this. What could be better? Lose another bet? That might be a silly question. <laughs> you just seem more enthusiastic than usual about your food. I have a lovely idea. How about I invite another friend next time so that the four of us can enjoy each other's company? Uh, of course! That sounds delightful and not the least bit likely to cause anxiety. Constance, am I mistaken or were you somewhat averse to vegetables in the past? Mercedes, shush! Keep these embarrassments to yourself while there are others present. Dear me, there is a stain on your highness's dish. Hmm, the plating hasn't survived on mine either. I appreciate your concern, but this isn't the place for such formality. We must make allowances for the dining hall, don't you think? Five years in, and I still marvel at how people from every walk of life can dine peacefully together here. Truly miraculous, don't you think? It is indeed. It helps your majesty to seem not so high above the rest of the populace. Behold, Professor. We need only sprinkle a bit of this secret ingredient that Happy and I found, and... Coco, if you go and tell everyone about it, it's not much of a secret. Usually, the atmosphere in the dining hall kind of bums me out, but with you two, I think I'll be okay. None of us are great at reading a room. Isn't that right, Professor? I overheard someone call us the three oddballs. Not very clever, if you ask me. Are you trying to make me sigh? Enjoying a meal together, just like the good old days, eh, Balti? <laughs> That's right. Brings me back to the days when you, Holst, and I were inseparable. We may not have a lot more chances to eat together like this. But don't go getting all sentimental on me, got it? No morbid talk allowed while we're eating, Balti. You hear me? None of us are dying anytime soon. Look at the little lady go. And here I thought you wouldn't know a vegetable if it bit you on the nose. When the occasion calls for it, sure. Although, not sure there's much room left for these ones. <laughs> Balthus, you're not gonna eat your dessert? Eh, not interested. Do me a favor and eat it for me, yeah? 